Hello everyone, this is Bach Patu here. Welcome to the game between the Arizona Sun Devils. Or, uh, no, the Arizona Wildcats. And, uh, the Colorado State Rams. This game will be in Tucson. I was thinking of the Arizona State Sun Devils, which are in the Pac-12. Uh, but this will be against Arizona. And let's see what the coach the AD has to say tough luck on the, on, on the loss again to Idaho last week let's hope this week's result will be better I kind of like that although yeah you see the overall ratings between the two of them uh, yeah They've not been playing uh, like they're capable of. Anyway, we're going to go into recruiting here. We got three team needs that need to be addressed. I'm gonna scout this guy. But only because he's a team need am I gonna put points in him. Only because he's a team need. I'm not thoroughly impressed on Mr. Uh, Williams. Schedule the visits. Let's see, both of these guys scout. Oh, this guy has not been fully scouted. <sighs> oh, he's likely to visit us no matter who. Uh, commit to us. Dude, better not be thinking of going to Virginia Tech, I'll tell you that. Texas A&M, Oregon, and Tennessee, he can go there. Virginia Tech, uh, no. He will not be making my Virginia Tech dynasty squad if he's on their board. Week 14 against UNM. That's the one. I'll schedule the visit. Did I just take a point, take points from him? Yeah, Tim Ball. I don't think we ever scouted him. Yeah, we did. I'm not gonna scout him more from New Mexico.
Let's see, show you the uh, guys that we have coming in. We got... Number of guys we've got coming in. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Some of these guys, I never really. Seriously looked at. Uh, gug gug scouting. Really intense. Might he be useful to us? out of here. We took care of recruiting for the week. Save the dynasty here. CSU. CSU. Okay. Now we will play the game. And the only thing I'm going to change with the uniform is the pants. To the gold. From that, yes. One button. And we score on average about 30, uh, 36 points on offense. Their defense only gives up about 26 points. Uh, their offense scores on average of about, of about 34 points. And our defense only gives up about 29. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by it Nissan. Will be Innovation that excites. We're going to see polar opposites in terms of velocity in this game. And when you want to pass the ball all the time, move quickly, sometimes facing a team that's based in a ground-oriented time of possession attack can be very frustrating. You get antsy. You get too eager to make plays. Can they maintain their concentration if they don't get the ball as often as they're used to? 
That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. surface we're at Arizona Stadium looking forward to a great contest let's head down to the coin toss now it's brought to you by Coke Zero real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie enjoy everything and this is Tucson Arizona Jenkins has the ball set how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Rams and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that it's diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting with the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in the He's tackled around the 24-yard line. Colorado State's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And, you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. <laughs> okay, slot post. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Nice job of picking up the Mike linebacker blitz and hitting his man for the first down. Ah, I'll throw the four V's. Because he can always throw it short. As opposed to going deep. A pickup of four on the play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. I didn't throw it, but hey, you want to give me a uh, credit for a catch? Trail shake. From their own 39-yard line. Just keep them Second down. They probably seen what I, what I would do in a certain situation. Dumps it complete the tight end over the middle. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. H back dive. What the does that mean? Back picks up a yard. The lettering in the turf spell. Don't leave that for kind of a uh, trivia question or whatever. Curl flats. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 47-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Slings it. The ball is loose. That was a close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. They got a little sloppy here with the it ball. It was out of bounds it's anyway. It's a good thing they were near the sideline. Otherwise, the defense could have pounced on that football. Yeah, yeah, out of bounds. They could have pounced on it out of bounds, but 
Uh, they Third wouldn't down, have been able to do to anything go. with it. On the 45. Got it and brought down immediately. Holden picks him up six yards with a catch. Fourth and one. Oh, really? Come on. Fifty six yard field goal. Mm -hmm. So they're going to go H for it. Back here. counter. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Big play. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. I could have gone for a 56-yard field goal. Might not have made it, but I figured, you know, the H-back counter. It's first and Better ten. option. Ball on the 21. Also, better option than punting it. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Okay. I'll let the Second middle five look here. coming up here. Ball on the 16. Pass incomplete. He tried to okay. hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Hmm. It's the, the 11th post. play of the drive. I kind of like that. Touchdown. I don't know why he had to. I, I don't know why he why he felt like he had to uh, go down like that. I mean, he was all alone in the end zone. He had plenty of uh, he makes the PAT. plenty of blue and around him, drive. blue and red around him. So our score. Completely, uh, I don't know. Maybe he, had, he was falling down or whatever. Colorado State ready to kick this one off. He had, felt like he had to do a tight rope act. He really got a hold of that kick. Probably the way he landed. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 26 yard line. Probably the way he landed. Cover one lurk. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Quick strike to the receiver. Knocked out of bounds. It's a 37 yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Oh, they run the no huddle. He's on the run. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 45. Oh, they like to run the option. Middle linebacker blitz. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. 
DB strength one. Receivers got it on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds at the 35. DB strike zone. No force an incomplete pass out of him. Oh, they're going to run the ball. They'll bring him down at the 22. I'm just going to let the game call it. Let the game force it. An incompletion or whatever. No huddle. I am terrible at it. I am terrible at no huddle. He's taken down at about the 13. Mm. Option defense. Cover four. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. <laughs> That was a pure, straight handoff. This guy seems to make things no happen no matter what kind of that. space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. Ooh. And it Doink. hits the upright. No good. He clanks it off the upright. No good. And he missed it off the upright. Yeah, Brad, you said that twice. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. What he is that off, and he word got that is that engraved one. in the... I mean the Arizona. I don't mean the Big A or whatever. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, they might be able to force them into a mistake. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run. And that creates chances in the play-action passing game. Bubble screen. From their own 38-yard line. Tend this it's first down. Colorado test State that. Is up one. Quick strike, and he drops it. Yo, dude, you didn't have to jump up after that. All you had to do was catch it. Mm. Wide receiver quick. It's second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Kind of a little gadget play, I guess. Ball oh, off the left side. Nice run, and he's brought down. Not terribly impressive. Not really impressive. Uh, I'll take the weak flood. From their own 42-yard line. Third down. Go for Green eight. That's a great tackle. Midfield. Nice catch. Mountain lead dive. Right, 
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. Taken down at the 48-yard line. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Tight end cross. Up. Oh, end of the first quarter. First. A long way yet to go, but at the end of one, Colorado State's up by one. Yeah, see, I don't know why he felt like he had a tightrope that. Colorado State up a point. Quick slants. Fires it out. Brought down right around the 38 yard line. That that makes makes it first and ten. Ten. Sure, I'll try the four V's the from there. Here in the second quarter, it's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Red, you know, a play's already gone by. Aren't you a little late for the uh, welcome back? Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. Yeah. He threw that ball so hard. I don't think anybody wanted to catch it. Makes he was under pressure. I'll throw a stick. Here's the eighth play of the series. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That'll bring up third and four. Uh, third and four. Throw another stick. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Boy, that was a lot. If the receiver didn't come down with it, the quarterback made sure nobody else was going to come down with it either. It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. It has the distance. And it's wide left. No good. Ugh. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Buckeyes came into today's game ranked number one in the land, and they silenced any downers with that performance. And for Ohio State, they continue their winning ways. The Buckeyes win it big. Elsewhere, time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. Paul's already starting to show off that arm, having thrown for more than 150 yards. 7-6 in our game here. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. In the shotgun, you know, let the game call it. And he's tackled around the 40 yard line. Five wide. around the corner he's at the 40 and he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 34 yard line there's a flag down and it looks like this one's coming back <laughs> yep <laughs> uh okay let's see second and eight first and ten 
Wildcats have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. Cover to disguise. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. And they make the stop around the 34-yard line. <laughs> Not sure Not what fool. the play is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Offense. And they go back even further. Flipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. Free safety blitz. Second down and a ways to go because of the penalty. And because of the loss of yards. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a that play, sack from you, there, give up on that play and get ready for the next <laughs> It, it would have been third and... Uh, from their own 19-yard line. Infinity. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's going to go for the home run. Tackle right around the 46-yard line. That was a nice I had no You know, we talk about man. this every week, adjusting to the blitz. The quarterback and the receiver do an excellent job of recognizing the blitz and adjusting to the play. Good looking. Oh, back. man. I had them pinned. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled at about the 27-yard line. We goal. had them pinned. There's a strike complete. And down he goes at the 15. I'm going to take what the game gives me. And I'll, but I'll execute it. And a quick throw. Tackle made around the nine yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Dante Carter. He's scrambling. Tripped up. Sure, if I can just trip him up one more time. There. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Mm. It's first four. down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, Wildcats! job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. Oh, and they're just going to go for a field goal? Over a point after? Okay. I would have figured they would have gone for two to make it a uh, seven-point deficit. And he hits the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. New Mexico in action in Albuquerque. Let's take a look at this one again. And for New Mexico, they're in danger of dumping their third straight game. The Aggies on top by three. 13 to seven game here. Arizona is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one.
Hmm. Bubble In a screen. game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Catches it, and that's all. The screen is good for four. That makes it second and six. Speed option here. Second down and six. Go all of the 29. We'll take that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he, was, I was, he was looking at being his tackle for a loss, and he turned it into a first down. Wow. It's first and ten. The Z spot. On their own 36. That was just awesome. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. That reception good for seven yards. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. I'll try the power off. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. See what that leads me. Laterals. Runs outside for a nice game. The halfback mm, goes forward nice for about five yards there, and that gets him the first. It's a nice option play here by the offense. Running back took the pitch and got a nice gain to move the chains. Hmm, I don't like either one of those read options. But I'll take the mountain lead dive. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. But they hate the read option, period. There he goes. And they get nice yardage on that run. That'll make it second and four. Verticals. They're about four yards away here on second down. Zips it to the tight end. He's taken down at the 41. Four verticals. Home run ball. Throws it in a hurry. And he's taken down at the 16 yard line. Mountain lead dive. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Three down, three down. Red two, three, 15. Run, run, run. And he makes it out to about the 14 yard line. Okay, sure, I'll try and this is the ninth easy. play of the current drive. Over the middle, got it, touchdown. Nice 
can see why he. These guys need to be like aware that, this you know, aerial cause... attack is capable of making some big plays. They he was going backwards. The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. He makes the PAT. And he does. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Time to get you up to date on what's going on in Albuquerque now. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. The Aggies win it by three. All right, thanks, Reese. <laughs> the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. Uh... Two men unders. I'm not buying that. Pretty display that of passing for was a blitz. result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. That always stings the defense to give up a big running play like that. They don't want to give up big chunks of yards on the ground. Cover three. From the 48 yard line. First down. Yeah, for they them, not for backfield. me. He flings it left. Brought down at the 17. Arizona's going to have to use their second time out of the hat. Cover three. No. They want to get it in the end zone. I should play ball hawk. Quickly, and he's got his man. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Good job here by the receiver. Look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch cover the two man. The field goal units out on the field, and they're going to try oh. to get these guys three points before halftime. Well, I got man defense, so he gets it up, and it's Quincy uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. as his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off nice kick plenty of distance and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback yeah so what momentum swings have been fairly even and with so this little going a lot this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays run up the middle and also take the time and we've got a great game 16 14 wildcats here's reese and david glad to have you with us in the studio for the ea sports ncaa football 14 halftime show presented by nissan innovation that excites reese davis and david pollock here completely locked in on that first half ball security was a major theme coming into this game and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses first and foremost did a good job of taking care of the ball and you don't see it every game that's for sure that both teams don't have a turnover at the half and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of and and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk.
very close game now as we start the second half. Robertson deep to return. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And he's taken down at the 31. Bring it back. Play. Let's see what it is. Receiving team. That's frustrating yes. for a coach when you preach yeah. fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. Both I'm not covered. I'm not out, buying that. And we're just about set to get going again. Arizona Press, just a cover two point lead. Cover two sink. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. The offense falls on it. They bring him down in the backfield. And they will keep the drive alive. Oh, they were lucky. They were lucky. Because if my guy got his hand on, on that football, he was in the, for a six. Cover four. So the sack makes this a second and long. They come out in a goal line set. They hand it off. That went before. Flips it middle to the running back. And he's tackled right around the 10 yard line. Paul! That makes it over 12. Gimme! Punt block. Hell yeah! Punter in the end zone. Block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Oh, excellent. Almost got it. Pace takes it at the 45. He's taken down at the 48. Let's see how close I came to that. Get the hell out of the way. Now, I know I came closer than that. Okay, the ball is there. Oh, if he doesn't make that one last block, my guy gets it. If he doesn't make that one last block. Whoa, that was close. Power O. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Mm, really, two points. Thompson on the right side. And they make the stop, the 37 yard Really? I don't think so. Zone weak. First and ten. Ball on the 37 yard line. I could have flipped that. Tackle at the 36 yard line. I should have. I got something on that play, but 
Probably would have been gotten more. Let's see what that Frisco is. Second and nine. Ball on the 36 yard line. It's a good play. Try. certainly a good time to try that. Z spot. Third down and they need to get it to the 27. We're within field goal range regardless. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made right around the 28 yard line. That pass play went for nearly I'm enough good. to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You gotta get those. Uh, H back plunge. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Didn't Makes stop him that time. Love it. I love it. Mm. H back counter weak. From the twenty stop the running line. game. It's first down. Yet. He's tackled at the 15 yard line. They haven't even come close to stopping our running game, so I'm just going to keep running it at him. 45 quick base. Till they can prove they can stop it, I'm just going to keep running it. Gets out to about the 12-yard line. They're going to have to do better than that to convince me that they can stop it. H, H back counter weak. And this play is number eight on the drive. Now, they've stopped it. And get set for the next play. Mm, let me see where my options are. Tight end it's stick. The ninth play of the drive. Yes. H back slam. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Touchdown, Colorado State. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kick the point in the PAT. No sense on kicking. That's what happens when you can win the two. war in the trenches down near the goal line. It's in that'll uh okay.
And the quarterback Stick. stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Colorado State holds a four-point lead. I'm not so sure I even like this call. Caught it, and the conversion is good. Coach does. That was a gamble. That was a gamble. Looks like they're ready for the kick. I think I would have kicked the point kick. after. Because he's here's the, the logic. And he's tackled the kick the point line. after is a five it point. Like oh. this one's coming back. Bring it back. Clip it. Receiving team. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. They'll make it a five-point deficit. Two men under spy. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Yeah, if they scored, it was only going to be a two-point lead for them anyway. He decides to run with it. He's taken down at about the 19-yard line. But on the other hand, it's the inside blitz. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. He's knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line. No. Two men under spy. Except I don't execute. He's gonna try and scramble. Fumble, loose ball. Using those good hands, he scoops up the fumble. Lucky, lucky, lucky. It's second and nine. Cover one robber. I want to get that ball. Next time they put it on the turf, I want it. And he's taken down around the 47-yard line. And that's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. Colorado State's lead is six. Should we win? I fully expect this to get right, get right back up to uh, number four, to where we were in this very pivotal fourth quarter. At the start of my of this whole day. into the halfback on the screen. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. Call it. No, no, don't fourth call down. it. And the I'm offense calling is still crash on the field. three. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Stop them short. I brought in a blitz. But they countered. I got to take a, a leak. I'll be back in a minute.
Okay, folks, I'm back. Uh, this had take a spring a leak. So now we're going to look at putting up some insurance points. A score here might slant. effectively end this one. Ah, uh, State with a six-point lead. Not quite, Brad. It'll make it extremely difficult. Nobody covering the tight end, and he's got it. They'll bring him down at the 50-yard line. That makes it first and ten. It will make it very hard. Play action flood stretch. That's a no-brainer. the 50. First down. Play fake. Throws it into coverage and it's intercepted. Oh my god. Brought down around the 36 yard line. That interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this. I was not ready to play four-minute offense. From the 36-yard line. I was wanting to get First insurance down. points. But he definitely has to be more careful. He might have a chance. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. Double smokes. Nice grab on the play. Don't wait for him. First and goal. On the other hand, though, they score quickly. On the other end, they score quickly. Hey. Touchdown, and we've got a tie ball game. Longer field. I can play five minute offense. The kicker on the field will try to put his team up by a point. And the point And he doesn't do it. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. <laughs> Let's take a look at some scores around the country. The top team roll. The Aztecs find a way to flip the field with the kicker. Now they the are at my mercy. Cold, explosive, and dynamic. Just pick an adjective. This guy has great acceleration. They are at my mercy. He runs with power, and right now, he's running wild. Real recognize real, and real recognize this kid. That's all I got to do State is. has the edge, 24-17. All right, Reese, tie game here. That's all I got to do. Thompson Jenkins has there. the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He He's kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Down the field. And they can take off as much as that, of that clock as I possibly can. Mix the run this with is the when pass. Get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Stick with only high percentage plays on fourth and. One. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for him. That brings him second and five. Second and five. And oh, yes. Milk that play clock. Mm -hmm. 
down the last possible second. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 35. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. Good way to avoid overtime. As well. The H back slash. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. <laughs> this ought to be a... This is going to be a very surgical drive. Surgical as I can possibly make it. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. Get back to the line. Mm -mm. That call from the mid, mid draw. But that's okay. Because I'm mixing the run with the pass. This is certainly a passing situation. Tie ball game. From their All they need is a field goal. It's second down. Power O. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Just over two minutes in the game. And two, three, nine. Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. Play game. Might be just as well, because in this way, I can take up more time. Because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. I'll take a deep attack. And here's another third down. I don't have to score here. Didn't work. Terry awaits the snap. Yeah. 
Now all I gotta do is I help for it. Ross makes it the 21. He makes it out to maybe the 30 yard line. Get a pass. If you don't rush things and avoid mistakes on offense. The worst thing that happens in this game is that you go into overtime. <laughs> now I think the game can pick it. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator is going to be living. He's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Just under two minutes in the game. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. Uh. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. Diving for extra yardage. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. So the defense has had enough of the no huddle as they call a timeout. Yeah. Three strong cloud. Cover From defense the is not yard working. Line. It's first down. Scrambling around. And he's sacked. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. Tackle made at the 34 yard line. I should have gone back to the strong cloud. That's okay. You're still quite a ways from the end zone. You don't get the first down. That's it. Make sure we get the right play. From the 25 yard line, first down. They come out in a five wide set. Got it, complete. He's out of bounds. I'm not convinced of that. Some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. Wow! I thought... And this is the eighth play of the drive. I thought I was doomed. On the run. Tackle around the 
the six-yard line. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the I'm offense over the sideline. They are even the considering sure this. Everybody's on the same page and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play. I'm surprised they're even right considering this. And trust that offensive line. Touchdown, Arizona. I would. I would have gone for for the field goal. Well, I lost. They just didn't get the snap off in time. Here's the call. Now we can be looking at 20. Number 20. Hmm. And the extra point is no good. It don't matter. It is not going to matter. Well, folks, do you think we can see another Cal Stanford? They need to return this all the way to win it. Not going to happen. What are my options other than a Hail Mary? Well, this sets up the drama here in the fourth quarter. They've got the opportunity they've been looking for, an opportunity to take the lead and the win. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. He chucks it downfield. Hail Mary. The they Rams were expecting in a, a Hail Mary. Positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look the next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive. But if there is anything to be positive about, it's about that performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, uh, it's just a couple of plays away. To the future around his ability. A couple of plays away. That's all I had to do. Convert that third down, stay out of the fourth down. When I had the ball last. That's all I had to do. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, for coughing there. But I had the right plan going in when I had the ball last. I just couldn't do enough of it. Twenty-eight, twenty-two. I just didn't, couldn't, uh, I just didn't cover enough field. 
Let's see how obvious that play is first. I'll take that. I just could not cover enough field. Is, did he just go through that goal post? Oh, now that needs an end zone view. I, I definitely want to save that. His head and shoulder went to the freaking goal post. You saw it, folks. Bird's eye view. Oh, I see the end result. Manage my photos. November 11th. We can't be having a nuclear meltdown now. Could Idaho be going to the net conference championship? Cardiac arrest. Yeah. Did your game plan result in the loss, coach? In the loss? Go study the tapes. Yeah, obviously. The final minutes. CSU. CSU. What we wanted to do is mix the run with the pass. Take down that clock. Melt that clock. Mix the run with the pass. I just couldn't do enough of it.
Now, how much further do we fall? And I've got, I don't even know, know if I want to see the conference standings. I don't even know. That in the turnover. The INT. I had the right play called on that one. The right play. Unfortunately, it didn't work out like that. Jeff Thomas is committed to our team. Eric Gordon has locked this out. I'll have to see if I can break that lock. Dave is committed to Canton. Dave Starks. <coughs> Dave Starks is committed to Kansas. And Billy Henry is headed to the uh, joining the Air Force. Ronnie Williams is committed to San, Di <clears throat> San Diego State. So I gotta. <clears throat> so I gotta somehow convince the guy who locked this out. Oh, number 21. We can't fall any further or, we're, or we will be out of the poles. CU. No, I'm sorry, CSU. CSU. picking us to win. Utah State's five and five. Right now that means nothing. That also means nothing. All projections. Are there any? Right now we are looking at the Armed Forces Bowl. Against FAU. Really? Florida Atlantic has been winning. I know we can do better than that. 
what is their non F FIU's non conference schedule been like? At Wisconsin, oh, they won. At NC State, where they lost. But the fact that they beat Wisconsin? Oof. In Wisconsin. That's... I think we can we can do better than that. We're I know we're better than that. USF of Mole Ellen to Mole after a win over Virginia. UVA I've got in the American Conference. The American Athletic Conference. See, I'm at level nine in recruiting, and I gotta balance that out. So I'll take care of this recruiting business real quick. Team needs three. Eric? Ah! He's committed to San Diego State. Well, they can have him. Both fullbacks. If I have my choice, it'll be Gordon. All positions now. At 55? I scout him. Uh, I'm sorry. He's not exactly lighting the, NCAA, the NCAA on fire. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's... No. He's just not doing it. Now this guy could. You know what? At 55, forget it. Forget it. Forget you. At 55 overall, forget him. Mm -mm. I'm not even interested in him. Got it. One hundred percent scouted. Fifty percent scouted. One hundred percent scouted. 
50% scouted. 100% scouted. I'm not going to scout players anymore. Yeah, I love the fact that I got Cody Scott, the gem on my team. Jeff Thomas, the gem on my team. Two gems. I'll scout these. Uh, uh, I'll, scout, uh, I'll scout these guys committed. They're committed to us. 100% scouted, 100% scouted, 100% scouted. Scout the rest of the way. Riley. Riley. Oh, well. Spring will whip him in the shape. Ray. Spring drills have a way of whipping players in the shape real quick. Hundred percent scouted. Hundred percent scouted. Mm, Nick Reed. Pretty good, Nick. You think you can crack sixty, Drew? Yeah. How about you, Jonathan? Yeah? Stacy, how about you staying in the 60s? Yeah. How about you, John? Oh, he's already a, in there. I doubt I can get another fullback. A decent fullback. I'm just gonna have to end recruiting. Well. Damien. All right, dude. Those, those points. Spring drills have a way of whipping guys in the shape. Look at this class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen guys. Thirteen guys. Got nobody ready for visit. Nobody unscouted. I've done all I can I can do in recruiting. I 
and managed to keep the one guy. who previously locked this out. Now if I can nail him. Now if I can snack, snatch victory from the jaws of defeat, as it were, and finally na and nail him. CU, um, CSU. CSU, CSU, all right, so there you have it, the week in college football, the Rams plummet from number four to number 21. Ugh. Oh, one more thing. Conference standings. <laughs> Idaho. Idaho. Looking at Looking at going to the championship. They were on a one, two, three, four, five, six game tear. Coming into us. They've extended that to eight. We, on the other hand, went on a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven game tear before losing to Iowa and uh, uh, I'm saying Idaho and then uh, Arizona State beforehand we only lost to uh, CU Dare I say it, but I think, I do believe Oregon State is just going to demolish Idaho. They're just going to demolish Idaho. Okay, coaches poll. Oklahoma State replaced it, us in number 10. Going number 21. Right now. Right behind Notre Dame and ahead of Louisville. Others receiving votes. Tennessee, Auburn, Temple, Florida, Missouri, Texas A&M. Dropped out. Florida, Georgia. Georgia Tech turning to the media poll. Media has been harsh in this whole year. We're number twenty three. Others receiving votes, Ole Miss, Florida, Auburn, Temple, Missouri, Bowling Green, dropped out Florida. The BCS. I don't even know if we're even in the BCS. Oh yeah, we are, at number 23.
So there you have it. Okay, there you have it. There is the, um... There is everything as we uh, stand, as we have it. All the uh, latest in the CSU Rams dynasty. I am hoping we do not lose the third. That would be bad. So in the meantime, we'll catch you next time right here on the channel. See you later. By the way, uh, if you want to subscribe on on uh, Twitch, you can go to twitch.tv forward slash bakpatu. I'm hoping to get back on there soon. Um, you can also, by the way, if you're happen to just be searching around, poking around, find this video, hit that subscribe button there. Uh, much appreciated. If you uh, much appreciated if you do that. Uh, you can also follow me at Twitter, on Twitter, at Bach, at uh, Bach Patu, that's B-A-C-H, B-A-C-H, P-A-T-U. You can also follow me on Facebook, too. Give you all the info down below. In the meantime, that's it. Catch you next time.